Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. My name is Manoj. I'm with Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies. Today we're going to be talking about how to import in a SOLIDWORKS model into Anthos Workbench. There are two different ways to do this. The first is actually from SOLIDWORKS itself. After Anthos installation, when you go to the add-ins menu of SOLIDWORKS, you'll find an Anthos option under the other add-in section. Simply activate the add-in, click OK, and a new menu will open up in SOLIDWORKS. So once you have your model opened up, simply go to the menu, click on ANSYS Workbench, and ANSYS will open up. The benefit of this is that it allows for bi-directional associativity, which essentially means that both ANSYS and SOLIDWORKS will talk back and forth to each other regarding the geometry. So essentially, if a change is made in SOLIDWORKS, it'll get pushed into ANSYS. If a change is made in ANSYS, it'll get pushed back into SOLIDWORKS. So as you can see, ANSYS Workbench opens up, and it's now attaching the geometry from SOLIDWORKS into a ge geometry component within Workbench project. The second way to do it is if you didn't have SOLIDWORKS open, and you simply wanted to bring in a SOLIDWORKS part or assembly file into ANSYS Workbench. Simply browse to the geometry component, right-click on the geometry cell, import, browse, and browse to your part or assembly file. Now the same procedure works for any of the analysis types where you're bringing in a static structural analysis for example. You can bring it in and do the same thing in, in its own geometry component cell. Pretty straightforward. That's it for now. We'll be doing more videos as we go along so stay tuned. If you have any questions feel free to call PDT Inc. Otherwise have a great day.